Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT. We're back with WWE Champions, and today we got the Iron Sheik Hall of Fame. And uh, he will put you in the camel clutch, break your back, humble you real quickly. And, uh, ooh, look at that. It's made out of salad gold. And you can still flippy flap that motherfucker, get it on backwards too. So uh, there you go. That's what we like to do there. We like to break your character models. So if you let it flap, DJ will break it. Anyways, we got two gears on. We got Silence Gems do 250% more damage. We got Multiply Gems generated for moves will increase their strength by 7. So that's absolutely fantastic. So the Sheik with the gears here. And we're going to try them out. We got the All Heart Plate on here. So when we do three or more sub gems, increase our green gem damage by 100% for two turns. Now, we are loaded with Double Fury here with a 133% green move damage metal on the sheet. All right, let's take a look at the poster. I almost forgot to review the poster. So, he is a coach, take less damage from blue moves, and at 18k, take 30% less damage from blue moves and any color move starting MP reduced by one for your opponent. So, that add-on at 18k will be nice, and... The dip for the blue moves, yeah, I don't know. We'll see where uh, where they go with that. But uh, maybe it's not good now. Might come in handy down the road, but we will see. Only got the Hall of Fame link. We went over the gears. And the Fireman's Carry Slam is the four-star move. And the Standing Dropkick is the five-star move. So we're going to take a look at the move set here. We're going five-star move set, triple greens. We got the Camel Clutch Submission 10 charge. Play six sub gems and do 29,000 damage for eight turns. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength 7. And now that gear is going to mega boost that through the roof. We got the Iranian Drop. Deal 143,000 damage to choose 6 gems to destroy. That's also 10 charge. And the Standing Drop Kick 6 charge. Deal 66,000 damage to swap a 1 by 4 random area into green gems. So, uh, I got to go get Mr. Steel out here. Forgot to move him back for this. Sorry about that. Okay, so we got Kurt Angle on here. He's the best tech in the game. 50% uh, more damage per turn for green subs. I got Bruno on here, but we don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. 50% uh, more green sub damage per turn and one extra green sub move turn. And Shelty B out here, 15% more sub damage per turn. So now we're doing 62,000 damage for nine turns, all right? It's going to be pretty awesome. I could take him out of there. You could go with Trick Bray, get three more sub turns. But I think the 50% more damage for that amount of turns is going to be better than just extra turns of the baseline damage. So, we shall see. And we're going to go out here against Jim Duggan. We're going to try to humble him. F the Duggan. All right, so we are all loaded up here. Well, mostly, but standing dropkick, 147K. Bah! Hit him with that. Bada boom, fill up the green. No cascades. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Let's go ahead, hit the camel clutch, humble him. I'm just going to put him on the green and hope that he doesn't choose to break that green because sometimes they don't and he did don't do that one see he did i did that one. Oh well as long as i get one of them i can recycle i'll hit him with a big shot at some point so those are times 14 with the gear Now, remember, we had All Heart active. These are going to do 372,000 apiece to break them. So, that's some pretty decent damage. And we can choose them to destroy with this. I didn't want to risk Cascading with the other move first. So, we can just pick them for sure. Maybe try to cause a couple Cascades there. I don't know.
And 1.1 milli. A milli, a milli, a milli. All right, and that's all she wrote for Duggan. Really? Really? Uh, fun fact, the Iron Sheik is the best Twitter follow you will ever have. That's facts. That's absolutely facts. All right, I'm going to run it back. From the top, DJ. All right, we're going to run it back and just uh, play through that a little faster and see if we can get a better a better shot there. See if he kicks out one time. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I feel like that was too easy, right? Was it too easy? Oof. All right, he's going to get to hit his moves this time. We'll at least, at least let him hit first. I don't know, but that uh, that knee in real life, it don't look like it hurts, right? But that knee there, that looked like it crushes your chest. Literally, it looks like he got a, a broken gold rib. Okay, there's the cascade he was looking for. All right, got to hit the green uh, sub here. See, all those are going to get broken again. I need to not put them all on green ones and hope. I'll put a couple there. I'll throw some blue in there, too, just to leave some extra multiply gems up. Humble him, Sheik. Humble him. I mean, if anything, I'm doing big damage with the sub, right? So, 62k for 9 turns. It's 500k. Oh, 409k. We got a bunch of multiplies here. Let's see, two more. Hold on. Can do that. That'll break those greens. Mm, let's just take another green gem. Oof. 1.8 million there, so that's nasty. That's nasty. I remember getting my first all heart plate and thinking, well, this plate's a piece of crap. <laughs> it all came full circle here. Kid Kelly, thank you for the host, my man. Welcome to the YouTube video. All right, we'll see if there's anything else we can do with the shoot. Okay, we're going to try another move set out here. We switched in double red moves, so you can do this at four star. We ain't touching the three star move set today, unfortunately. So this will be the last set that I'm going to run with him. But we got the Gut Buster, one charge deal, 47k damage modified, two by four random area to silence gems. We got the Fireman's Carry Slam, six charge deal, 75k damage, and make 10 silence gems into green gems. And then we got the Iranian drop still in there. So we're going to choose gems to destroy so we can recycle here. On the Entourage, we got Sting now for red MP. We got Kane for silence gem damage and Gargano for silence gem damage and Hogan for any gem damage. So we've got that covered. We have added the Aftershock skill plate instead of the All Heart because we're not using the sub. So whenever we break three or more green gems, get three red MP at the end of your turn. So we left everything else the same. And we're going to go out here and battle Mr. Dugan again. So the green move that breaks gems is now going to be like my finisher of sorts because it's going to have the high damage and the ability to cascade. And we'll see how these uh, silence gems are hitting. How mad do you think the, the real Iron Sheik would be that I have Hulk Hogan coaching him? I don't think he'd like that too much. Oh, there we go. 442k. That was decent. All 
Oh, I suppose I didn't need to break the red. I had the skill plate on there for that, huh? Oh, he kicked out of that one. He wants to have a slugfest here, apparently. Come on, Duggan. Can I have a turn? Unbelievable. Can I have a turn? I had time to start a load of laundry waiting for that to get done. All right. There we go. I get to play again. Man, boop! Right down on the old rib cage. I mean, it looks like we've got the upper hand in the slugfest here. It looks like it's just going to take some time. See how that one went. 525. And he's going to kick out again. And he kicked out again. At least that'll cascade a pin. All right, there we go again. There we go. Hey, 632. Oh, come on. You kidding me? All right, we're going to use this to refill that red right there. Easy enough. Then we get to hit him with this one again, and we'll see. Put some damage down, at least. So that gear really makes that uh, worth it. That would hit not very hard if you didn't have the gear on there, I gotta admit. It would still recycle just the same. So you gotta remember, when you're using a four-star moveset, that's like... In the four-star era, that would have worked very well because in the four-star bronze and silver era, it was all about just being able to recycle your moves and make sure you're constantly hitting them to win matches. So that moveset is a four-star moveset, and it would fit right into that meta. So I don't know, though. I don't know. But what do you think about the Sheik? Let me know down in the comment section below. And until next time, y'all.